Okay, um, just wanted to uh, throw up a quick update video on the Kyosho Ultima. Um, as you can see, it's all wired up, ready to go. There's a, a one major problem with the steering. I'll show you in a second. But otherwise, um, the drivetrain is silky smooth. Um, pretty pretty impressed with this motor. This car is very quick. Again, it does have bearings now, but um, other than that, uh, for a stock motor that comes with the kit, um, nothing fancy going on there, but that thing is, this car is, is fast. Uh, and I remember that uh, when I was a kid, uh, my stock RC10 um, versus one of these out of the box Ultimas. The Ultima was a faster was a was a faster car in, in, in as I remember it uh, quite a bit quite a bit faster um, so the major I guess update would be that I got my wheel kit from uh, I want to say it's PMG um, uh, a seller on eBay um, and man these things are just gorgeous I, I realize these are not the style uh, wheels that would have come with the Ultima, but I always like this this style Kyosho wheel. I guess um, over almost any of them, um, they just do it for me. But uh, yeah, they're fully the whole wheel is just milled out of aluminum. And I thought, you know, man, I don't know. They're probably going to look better. They fit perfect. Um, I don't know. They just, they just make for a, a handsome car. I may, I just realized that these tires here are actually, I guess, came standard with the, uh, Ultima Pro. I, I could be wrong about that, but I may swap these out for that car and use the ones that are on that car for this Ultima since I'll be running it around a little bit. I may run that one too, but anyway, so... Uh, I know these are not the stock Ultima wheels, but I believe the backs are what came standard on it. Um, let's see, since since the last video, uh, again, aside from wiring everything up, um, got uh, a controller in, I guess this is a FlySky uh, FS GT3C. Um, I, I, I saw Gavin on uh, RC Kicks recommended these, um, or I, I won't say, I don't want to put words in his mouth, but I'm just saying he seemed to be okay with these for the price. Um, I think they're fantastic for 50 bucks. Can't, can't really beat it. Um, but anyways, I'll uh, turn this guy on and you'll see the problem I'm having. I was hoping to run it today, but um, doesn't look like that's gonna work out. And maybe this is a known issue with the uh, with the Ultima steering. I guess it's a sloppy servo saver because uh, you see that's just like I said in the first video. That's way too much servo, so that's not the problem. But um, it never finds center because there's um, just I don't know if we can see any of that. There's too much slop in that little mechanism. Yeah, this isn't gonna make, this isn't gonna show up on video well. But anyhow, I can't run it like that. The car just goes all over the place. I tried to run it last night before bed and was a little disappointed, but we'll fix that. And I know there's some aftermarket kits. You can just kind of upgrade that thing to ball bearings and, and all that. Um, and I think it might even take the servo saver aspect out of out of it um, for a servo like this. I can't see that being something we need. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna leave these guys long like this. I just didn't wanna cut them until I figured things out. But um, well, it's not gonna make the tires come off the rim, but man, I was just, it's in, this thing goes, it was very smooth. Um, 
So last thing, I guess we can turn all that off. Last thing I wanted to look at was how this body is going to fit. Um, there is not room, and I should have checked all this out, there is not room for this ESC back in this area, so that's not really going to be able to stay there. Um, it's quite possible it could just fit under the deck. I may go that route. Um, and I think that would be okay again. This this is not nothing super hot here going on. I don't think we have to worry too much about airflow. But yeah, I would like to run this stock body if I can. Uh, I guess the other thing you see that 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 body mount there is torn off or removed on purpose. Um, so I don't have that. I uh, don't think it would really be necessary. Maybe it will. And also, final thing is that they, they, they don't include a, a hole for a body post on this kit, so we'll have to add something there. But yeah, I'd like to run, I'd like to have this old school body on here instead of going with something, something else. Um, yeah, other than that, uh, car's almost ready to rip. Suspension, I mean, just not great for such tiny little shocks. It's it's very solid. Uh, I didn't even have to rebuild the shocks. I just cleaned them up on the outside and uh, stuck them back on. Uh, really, nothing to do. This car is just going to be a lot of fun to own. Um, going to be a lot of fun to drive around. Seems like, and uh, yeah. So that's the update for now. Uh, maybe I'll do another video if I figure out what to do with this steering setup or uh, maybe we'll just wait until uh, we can run it on the baseball field. Alright, thanks for watching.